Yo guys, what is up? So today I will be unboxing this Craftsman 216 piece set uh, socket set. Uh, they sell this at Lowe's, I believe it, it's like $140 on sale. Um, which I think I paid, uh, I think I paid like $140 for this piece when it was on sale, the Cobalt. That's a 250 piece set. So, I got this one because it's a little bit more lighter, so it's better to... It's better for junkyard runs, so I don't have to carry that heavy thing around. So, yeah, let's unbox it. So, this set is apparently made in Taiwan. So, of course it's not made in the USA like they used to be made in. But it ain't made in China either. It's made in Taiwan. So it's probably got somewhat a better quality than what it used to have because I believe craftsmen they were making these in like China at one point in time uh, it has a nice spot to uh, put your nuts and bolts when you're taking stuff apart it has a spot for uh, to put your wrenches when you're wrenching on stuff but yeah, this is part of the Versa stack, so of course you can stack like so many different uh, stuff on top of it. They make a Versa stack box with more drawers that you can stack on top of it and uh, all kinds of different stuff. So in drawer number one, you got the uh, you got to push these two tabs in to pull it out. So. Yeah. So uh, in drawer number one, you got... I'm surprised this actually comes with swivel sockets. Uh, surprisingly, my 250-piece set cobalt set does not have swivels. So I'm actually very surprised that this one does have swivels. But here's the set. Um... I like this design better than Cobalt because, as you can see, you can easily pick out your sockets and put them back. Whereas Cobalt, I'll show you on this one. As you can see, you gotta take them out like that, and they can be hard sometimes to uh, take the sockets out. Anyway, I believe all of these are six point for the 3 8 so there is no uh, 12 point sockets on here whereas the 250 piece cobalt set you got 12 points for 3 8 so here's the 3 8 ratchet which uh, you know I'm surprised they don't shine these things up from the factory but I believe this is a 72 tooth ratchet sounds pretty good now, as you can see you can easily just set it down you know easily set it down as like if you come to cobalt here you gotta take it out and then you gotta snap it in which it's honestly pretty easy on this. It's not too difficult to take the tools out of this. You know, not to hate on cobalt. I mean, I love that tool set. And of course, you can also take these out and carry it with you wherever you need to go. And then you can put it in. I will say that these drawers slide in and out a lot easier than the cobalt does. So that's one positive. So... You actually get a quarter inch swivel. So that's not bad. That's surprising. Of course the 250 piece cobalt set does not have that. And then you get this adapter 
from uh, what is this? Yeah, three eighths to a quarter inch. I don't know why you would need that because you can literally just use your three eighths set. Uh, and these are not 12 point either. These are just uh, six point sockets, and it goes from. The five millimeter to eleven, they skip twelve. Did they skip twelve on a uh, cobalt? Uh, is this quarter inch? Yeah, it's quarter inch. No, they did not. So you got five through eleven. They skip twelve and go to thirteen, fourteen. Oh wait, no, there's twelve right there. So it does have a 12 millimeter. So it has a 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and a 14. So I guess they did not skip any. Where So it goes from a 4 millimeter to a 14 millimeter on the short socket and on the cobalt what does this go to okay so this on the cobalt it goes from a four millimeter all the way to a 14 millimeter too so what about the deep sockets I guess they don't label these so you just gotta go from the label on the socket so it looks like we got four millimeter all the way to a 14 millimeter and is that right? Yeah, starts from four to fourteen. On the cobalt, it looks like they skipped the four millimeter deep socket, and they go from a five millimeter to a ten millimeter. Oh no! So it goes from a five millimeter to a fourteen millimeter. So they skipped the four millimeter on the deep socket on this. And then you got your your uh, SAE. You know, I don't really use these. I work on Fords, so, you know, I don't really use them. So, otherwise you got your, uh, what are these, hex drivers? Got your hex screws. And you do get two extensions. And then of course you got your screwdriver. It is all a magnet, so let's say if you wanna put this in here. Goes in like that. Honestly, this is nice. I like the feel of this more than the cobalt. As you can see, the drawers on the cobalt can bind up sometimes. I was trying to open the wrong one, but this one's this one. So here's the cobalt. And then there's the Craftsman. And the cobalt one well, is still pretty nice, but I think I like the feel of the Craftsman more. And as you can see in the cobalt, of course, I had a add some extra extensions but yeah oh and in the cobalt you only get one half a quarter inch extension whereas on the craftsman you get two so that's a plus for craftsman all right so going into the half inch drawer of course you gotta press in the two tabs and then you can easily slide out your uh, thing here and uh, okay so am I missing a socket here so 10 millimeter this is a 12 point socket so it looks like your your uh, half inch sockets are 12 millimeters and we are missing a socket are we, are we missing a socket 
No, I guess we ain't missing a socket. So... Okay, so where does this start? So we go from a 10 millimeter, 12 point, to a 24 millimeter. So we go from a 10 to a 24. And what do we got on here? On the cobalt. As you can see, I mean, it's. It can be difficult to remove your sockets from the cobalt. Uh, these are, of course, 12 point. But from the cobalt, you go from a 9 millimeter 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Are these six point? No, they're twelve point. Oh, these are three eighths. Those are three eighths, and then these are half inch. So those are three eighths. So where's the others? So this one's upside down. So where is the? Those are wrenches. So then the half inch must be up here then. Yeah, half inches are up there. Hmm. But anyway, uh, cobalt, they didn't skip any sockets on that, so. And you only get one extension. Here's your, uh, wrenches that come with it. Uh, these are basically useless to me. I am going to put my ratcheting wrenches in here. I got a nice set of Craftsman ratchet ratcheting wrenches, so I'm going to throw those up in here. So, yeah. And I just wanted to go to the 3 8 again to see we get two extensions you got the small one and then you got the big one here so yeah and you do get two three eighths extensions on the cobalt as well but there it is um you know with the versa stack it is pretty neat but i can tell you right now this is definitely lighter than the cobalt Obviously, because, you know, cobalt is pretty big. Like, this cobalt one is pretty big, so. That's that. Of course, it comes with a full lifetime warranty. I have to test that out. Um, 2019? But yeah, it's made in Taiwan. Yeah, so it is a 70 tooth ratchet. And of course the easy out sockle socket remover. So the sockets are pretty easily removable. And as you can see the stackability. So you can stack stuff on top of it. You know, kind of like that. Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I'll be doing a different, a more better video on this, um, because right now I was just in my car, so I didn't really have any room to, uh, actually set these out. But if you guys were wondering how the cobalt has been holding up, uh, this thing's been holding up pretty good. I've been using it. I haven't broken any tools on it. So, I did drop the... When I was moving this out of my vehicle, I did drop the some of these drawers. 
I think it hit right there. But there's a dent in one of these drawers because when I was carrying it, they fell out. And that's the thing. Whereas the cobalt, you know, these drawers, as you can see, they tend to fall out when you tip it over. Not as much, but if you really give it a good uh, hit, they will come out. Whereas the Craftsman, these ain't coming out. I mean, these... I mean, maybe it's coming out a little bit right there, but... I mean, these suckers are in there. So, I don't think that will be an issue with that. But, yeah, and of course you can stack some things on the side too. So, I will be buying the add-on two drawers. You can get the add-on for two drawers. So, I will be buying that and I'll do a separate video on that. But anyway, thanks for watching. What's up guys? So today I got the Harbor Freight Special Daytona Jack. This is a low profile for a 149. So I'll be unboxing it. So this is nice because uh when you're jacking up your car, you won't hit. There's like this rubber piece that will protect you from uh, feeding up your car when you're pumping the jack. Went with the orange one because they didn't have the green one. You know, the green one looks pretty nice. So I'm going to take it out of this box. Alright, I've been using this for a while. So, uh, let's try lifting this thing up. pretty easy. It's not that hard to pump. Again, that's a Daytona Jack.